Atlanta wonder kid Rasmus Hoyland could definitely be heading to Manchester United. Stick around to make sure you do know me certain what Ava we've definitely got to bring to you as long as it is sports right about here at the United chapter with me, your host Abu Kals. As we talk sports, we're definitely heading into the transfer season. Transfer season is knocking and uh, transfers are definitely already here. Uh, things are definitely going on quite well as planned. So we could see a better Manchester United than already what it was uh, the last season. So uh, whom are we talking about? And uh, this wonder kid, why is he uh, hunted for by Real Madrid? Why is Real Madrid after him? And why is Arsenal after him? Anyway, I think uh, there are quite a number of reasons as to why this gentleman is haunted for by a big number of clubs. Uh, but um, Manchester United in particular need a forward. And when they have looked around, definitely there is quite a big number of clubs that uh, players that have been linked to Manchester United. But uh, it will be remembered that Erasmus Hoyland is definitely one that is an exceptional football player exceptional finisher he plays for atlanta and uh he's had a few moments with uh one-on-one -on -one with victor usimen who is also a manchester united target and definitely said a few things about him and uh it definitely it was definite that both of them have big uh, respect for each other because of the way they definitely play so I think it's going to be massive. I think it's going to be a very good thing for Manchester United, uh, for Rasmus Hoyland to make sure, uh, making sure that Rasmus Hoyland definitely uh, comes into uh, the club and plays for them. You'll be remember that Eric Ten Hag is not very shy about European football players. <clears throat> Some managers will always go for football players in the Premier League. And uh, uh, because uh, football players in the Premier League already know what they are going to uh, be facing, um, but for some reason, uh, for some reason, Eric Ten Hag, who is the current manager of Manchester United, is not so much into Premier League uh, football players. He always likes to shop in Europe, uh, go in the Eredivisie, go in Serie A, go in League One, go in La Liga, and get football players. So I think uh, there is a big possibility of uh, Rasmus, uh, Rasmus Hoyland definitely ending up at Manchester United. We'll remember that uh, last month, he was heavily linked to the club Manchester United last month. And uh, talks between this gentleman, uh, Rasmus Hoyland's uh, managers and um, Rasmus uh, Hoyland's agents and uh, Manchester United management had a one on one and talked a few things about this transfer and how they would like this transfer to go and also how much amount of money um, uh, Rasmus could be on. Anyway, he's been uh, linked, he's been compared to uh, the likes of Victor Usman, who's a very good football player. He's also been linked to uh, the likes of Erling Haaland. Uh, who is also a brilliant goal, goal scorer. Uh, he's a record breaker. And uh, he's uh, linked to uh, very many football forwards of that category. He's been compared to very many of them. And brilliantly, when you see his dribbling skills, definitely they're always on point. And when you see striking, finishing, definitely uh, discipline, he goes out, he always, he's always uh, ready to learn. Definitely, I think uh, the fact that also that he is still very young, 20 years of age, definitely that's a big advantage for Manchester United as a club for having a young football player who can be tied to the club for possibly the next eight years if he's performing as the manager definitely wants. I think it's going to be quite good for the club Manchester United to have him if they... Uh, finish up uh, if they put their money all together and definitely uh, have this gentleman. I don't think it should be that expensive, but you know how transfers can be. Let's see his current market value. Um, let's see his current uh, current market value. So 
He's not that expensive, obviously, as I said. So Rasmus Hoyland's current transfer value is between 16.5 million euros to 27.5 million euros. And that should be okay for Manchester United. I mean, United should put in consideration, why should you go for Kylian Mbappe, who is uh, 197 uh, million euros, why should you go for him? I mean, he's going to make an impact. It's okay. He's going to make an impact he co if he comes to Manchester United. But you're not very sure. You're not so certain that he's going to come and make the impact. What we know, history, we, although history doesn't lie, he scored quite a number of goals, Kylian Mbappe and also Harry Kane. But all these football players are very highly priced. And you also need options. So with the budget of Manchester United, if they can have Rasmus Hoyland, definitely. And, okay, if United can, uh, let's put it this way. If United can have a very big, uh, a very, a, a big name, okay, let's say, um, let's say Harry Kane. If Harry Kane joins Manchester United still, there should be a football player who is going to be on the bench and will come and make a big impact in the game if things are not going on quite well. Or if a football player definitely gets an injury, there should be another player who is going to make a big impact and there is not going to be a lot uh, that is going to be missed. And uh, for a football player like uh, like Rasmus Holland, who's market value is 16.5 million euros definitely that's not much between 16.5 million euros and 27.5 million euros definitely that's not much at all i must say uh, if united can have uh say um hurricane and on top of hurricane united can add a football player like him then things will definitely be sorted for the striking section because you saw what happened for the whole uh uh, for the whole, since January, when Fault um, Figures joined Manchester United, uh, the goals he scored for Manchester United, very few, very few goals, I must say. Very, very few, extremely few. And that's what Manchester United has had on disposal. It will be remembered that Manchester United had. Uh, had, he had uh, um, this gentleman. Uh, What's his name? Oh, why is he? Why is he getting out of my? Okay, let me let me search him here. Oh, Manchester United, Manchester United. So United had uh, had a few football players that didn't perform, and others obviously uh, others uh, came on and uh, played. Definitely, they played, uh, but they had injuries, and for that reason. Uh, the fact that they definitely had injuries, they did not perform as expected. So, uh, let me see what football player I was trying to talk about. Why has he gone out of my head? Who's this? Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. Anthony Marshall, for some reason, Anthony Marshall had gone out of my head. So, you remember that Marshall is a good football player. Undoubtedly, he was. I can't, I, I don't think I should comfortably say that Marshall is still a good football player. I mean, he can make an impact, a bit of an impact when he comes to the game, but Marshall is not that kind of football player that uh, you want for your club that is going to come off the bench and your opponent is worried. No, I don't think he's that kind of football player anymore. I don't think uh, I would be right if I said he is the kind of football player he is. Uh, we think we thought he was actually uh, two, three years ago. So I think Anton Marshall has. It's not performing. He's not performing as. He was because of injuries. He had a few injuries and he didn't go on quite well. And then uh, the fact that 
he's always uh, anyway most games after the injury is always come from the bench but not much has been done when he's come that's why you need a figure like Erasmus Hoyland who is not injury prone because uh, because uh, um, Marshall Anton Marshall is injury prone he gets quite a lot of injuries he's no longer that striker you definitely need for your club and the fact that Fault Figures also is no longer that football player you definitely want to score for you if you want 20 plus goals you are not going to rely on uh, Fault Figures and Fault Figures is definitely getting back because he had signed the 2.7 2.7 2.8 million uh, contract with Manchester United and he ended in he definitely ended and I think right about now is the time for Manchester United to get into fishing and get this football player that they definitely need badly, uh, Rasmus Hoyland. So, uh, looking the, at the strikers at Manchester United, top strikers, definitely, there is a big hole. There is definitely a big hole. And also, uh, some people talked about Mason Greenwood. Uh, about him joining Manchester United again. Uh, he's already a uh, United. He's a Manchester United player. But I mean, uh, uh, if he might not play for Manchester United if again. But uh, some clubs are interested in him. Some clubs definitely want him to go and play for them. But not at Manchester United because uh, it's not because of form or anything. I know he could be have had possibly might have had a lot of time without playing. But when he played, it was definitely very okay. But with English sport, when you make a mistake like uh, what he did, you will most likely not going to play in English Premier League anymore your entire life. That is the bitter truth that everybody doesn't want to listen to. But that's the bitter reality. You can see almost all those football players who've had related problems, they always end up not playing for the clubs and although he pleaded guilty sorry he pleaded innocent he pleaded not guilty and uh, uh, still there is a bit of innocence in there uh, very many fans very many Manchester United fans still think he should not go to Manchester United he should not play for Manchester United because the acts that were taped that were showed on the tape were not the best of uh they were not they were no good i must say they were not good and uh Manchester united said they would take their own investigation living alone what the court said they'll take their investigations and they will come to conclusion with what will be done but him playing for manchester united and this is from inside sources what manchester united is looking at is possibly selling him but he's not going to be playing for Manchester United and I think Manchester United will be missing a big talent because he was definitely a very wonderful one and United has had uh, ever since he also left uh, definitely ever since he got into trouble United has not had a perfect striker like him and that's uh, quite sad for the club Manchester United I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo is a good one and he scored quite a number of goals, but he was not getting along with the manager. I mean, Eric Ten Hag wanted Cristiano Ronaldo, but he didn't want him as a starter. He wanted him to come when other football players are tired and he can do the bullying. But uh, he definitely wanted to start. And you're not going to compete with, uh, this, uh, with, with these 20 year football players. With these 18s, 22, 24, 24, definitely 25 there. They are still very good. You're 37 years. What do you expect? So, uh, he didn't want him to start. And uh, that definitely upset Cristiano Ronaldo. But uh, with the fact that Manchester United are now uh, looking at uh, getting Rasmus Hoyland, that is quite a great thing. And I think Rasmus Hoyland is going to make a big impact if he gets to Manchester United and uh, he will play quite well he score quite a big number of goals because he's already proved that he can score in European uh, clubs he can definitely 
uh, score if, he, if he's scored uh, against uh, those European clubs, you can definitely come and score here. Anyway, uh, it's been having a chat with you. It's been uh, very nice having a chat. I'm uh, talking sport, talking about Rasmus Holland, who is a very good one, as uh, very many people have been asking me to talk about him. I uh, thank you for being part of this and make it a point. Subscribe and ring that notification bell. Such do not miss out any anything. The United chapter has to bring just as long as it is sports. And as long as it is Manchester United related, right about here at the United Chapter with me, your host Abu Kals. As I tell thank you and goodbye for now.